Hello, hey, hello, hello, everyone. Um, it's very quiet. It's because I've turned the music off. Like I like I said, I do last episode, but yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> this game has such great music; it feels like a crime to almost not be playing it, and it's a shame that I had to do it like this. But it is what it is. So we're gonna fight through this. We're gonna beat it. Hopefully. And then um, turn the music back on and we'll get back to um, our regularly scheduled program. All right. All right. Let's see, what we've got. All righty. Yeah, so the whole thing with this fight and some of its mechanics is that. You do not want um, to be attacked one-sided. You want to make sure you're always clashing with one of these boys, because if you're not, then um, it's going to hurt really, really badly. So, go ahead and do this. Hopefully that'll be, that should be enough to roll for that. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's definitely pop one of those, and then, um, let's see, yeah, let's just pop a little bit of a discard right here, yeah, that should do it, alright, nice, good, 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 good stuff, ooh, not great with the 8, not good. kind of funny. You don't really notice it until you have no sound going, but um, the 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 one here, the the sword, it really sounds like a lightsaber like sound effect. It's kind of funny. Alright. Let's go ahead and hit him with a rat attack. I definitely want to use some indiscriminate shots, so... Actually, if I can hit both of these ones, that'd be great. All I gotta do is pull them away now. There we go. And then let's go ahead and... Uh, let's hit a Sakura. Yeah. I mean, I don't really got anything else going on, so... Um, and I get a page for discarding this one. Let's go ahead and hit with a Sakura. And I can also... I'll just let it rock. I'll let it rock. Bam. 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 Good rolls. Bam, bam, bam. Not great rolls. Okay, didn't win that clash. Rest in peace. Sakura, though. Big damage. Love to see it. Okay, good. Good with the loosen up. Now that's just rude. Come on. Come on. I need to get, like, a stagger. Please. If I could get a stagger, that would be just wonderful. Gonna have to play a little loosey-goosey here. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. Okay. Uh, just gonna have to tank these, honestly. Ooh, maybe I can... Uh... Yeah, let's just keep this up. Actually, no, I don't want you getting hit. Let's go ahead and hit you with a lower dice. Alright. This is going to hurt as a turn, but hopefully some staggers will uh, come in the clutch. Nice. Like like that. Okay, that didn't work out exactly as I wanted it to. That's okay. Ow. Ugh. Barely hanging on. Barely hanging on here. Just got to keep him off your sod, and yeah, of course they're going to prioritize him. Let's go ahead and get them off of your sod. Um, and let's hit him with... Uh, hit him with that, hopefully that'll do it. Damn, I really wish I had some more card draw. Ugh, come on. Please. There we go. Okay. 
Something. Something. Alright. This should be enough to handle this. Let's go ahead and hit him with... Yep. Hit him with a big one. Let's go ahead and just pile on damage where I can. Yeah. And then let's make sure that these big cards are hitting them. There we go. This should work. Nice. Promise Pierce isn't effective, I just remembered. Maybe, maybe the range phase wasn't the best idea, but, you know, is what it is. Seriously? Bro, I'm getting super unlucky with no staggers on these. Alright, I'll tell you what, this is going to be the, the end of this on, on both of these ends. Uh, let's do, like, this, and then, like, this, and then, like... Actually, I don't want you to do anything, actually. Just do it like this. It should be enough. Was not enough. That was enough. <laughs> that was barely enough. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Okay. 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 Um, should I just keep piling on the damage with our friend here? And then let's... Yeah, let's kill him off with... Ah, oh, damn it. Not enough light. Shoot. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I'd rather you do it because you actually have more light than anyone else going on. So this should be enough, but I'm going to do this just in case. Should be enough. Was enough. Okay. Whew. Okay. To start. Okay. Here is the... Here's the problem. <laughs> Fortunately, weak to blunt damage and slash. And I actually went ahead and made a backup floor using Sayo's page and a lot of bleed and stuff going on with slash damage. So if these guys can't do it, hopefully they can pick up the, the pace and take it on. Um, yeah, some really crazy powerful cards here if you have low health and just have to make sure that we're yeah just gonna have to try and survive our best let's do it so right now yeah custom background super dope but there's definitely music playing right now that would be copyright so um it's a shame but it is what it is okay Go ahead and hit you. Hit you with these. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can fire some. We cannot let that hit. We cannot let the one to three hit and give him three strength. That would just be the worst. So let's make sure that we take care of that. I hate CQC should be good. Um, gonna try and get down to the brawl if I can and then for you um, sadly gonna have to not use soccer right now probably need some more card draw on the deck if I'm being honest but it is what it is let's just start with this thank god okay thank god <laughs> so just gonna use um, our range pages here just to clash with her pages because, look, the moment that they start gaining strength, it's the moment that we lose. Ow. Okay. Good hit. Good block. Good hit. Okay. Nice. All the loosen ups, man, the loosen ups are really nice. You want to have them. Okay. This is actually not even that bad. It's just a lot of mixed dice. You need to make sure you always beat this one. <laughs> Has to be beaten. It's not beaten, then you're in it for a world of hurt. Um, actually, well, they all have different resistances. Is there any one that's actually weak to piercing? Okay, well, this one's fine. I can do normal for that one. That should be good. 
Maybe I should have somebody else clash with this. Because... Oh, no. Okay. Her, no. Her pierce is normal, too. Okay. I was just... I don't know why I was getting in my own head there. Um, let's do it like this. And then let's see if I can get a good kill with Brawl. Um, yeah, let's do the Sakura. It's about, I, think it's, I think it's a good time to do that. And then let's keep piling on damage onto um, this one. Yeah, let's do it like this. Let's have let's have this one hit though. There we go. All right, it should be good. Let's let it rock. Yes. Okay. Good. Beat it. Beat it out. Nice. Good. Good stuff. Good damage. All right. A little bit of hit. It's no, no biggie. We'll take those. There we go. One down. Other ones should be falling fairly swiftly. Please don't be... Okay, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Once HP gets below 50%, um, that is a big problem. <laughs> also, as you can see, if we lose this like round with her, it survived it like the townspeople come back. So it's not like, you know, you can go and nuke down the townspeople and then call it a day. No, you actually still have to beat out like all the stuff. Um shame, I don't have a brawl. Uh this is a bit of a shame as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. And then let's have another have another I'll have another Sakura going off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that'll work, that'll work. Uh, let's hit it right onto Mary. Here we go. And then maybe I should, that's fine. Let's do it like this. Nice, good stagger. Good, nice, nice clash. Okay, it hurts a little bit, not too bad. The one, come on. It's the one thing I did not need. Okay, below 50. This is where things will start getting a little tougher. Yeah, yeah, I need the damage. I need the damage. Here we go, here we go. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, this is where things get tough. Okay, I need a high evasion dice right now. Um, Brawl can clash with that. That's why you want you definitely want Brawl for this fight and scratch that because that's one of the only cards that can clash with this safely and win. So that's good. Um, you can go here and then you. I need you to bail out our friend. You're gonna take a big hit, but you know it's gonna be for the greater good. So thank you for your sacrifice. Okay. All right. Let's let's play with it. Let's play around. Damn, look at that. Bam, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Ow, that hurts. Okay. That was really great. Two tens are going to be instrumental to our success. Now, that was a little bit annoying. Um, this is where things get a little bit tough. Yep, there we go. Another one of those. Um... I can't clash with that. I have to kind of just do it like this. Ah, uh, card draw is killing me right now. It's one of those things, you know, you don't really realize it when you're doing these earlier, like in the earlier fights, but, you know, card draw is just so important in these longer fights. You just have to have it. And gonna just have to tank that. And then... Uh, I'd rather have the defense on this one. Yeah, it's defense up. And then let's do Um Sakura's not gonna get the bonus from it. Can I hit this one with a gamble just to try and take it down? Oh no, it's ineffective against Blunt. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do that. Okay. Well I just have to hope it doesn't discard Sakura. That's all I have to do. If it does, then well, you know, I'm out of luck, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, good hit. 
There we go. Perfect. Good block. Okay. Ow. 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 Okay. Getting really close. So Mary's all alone now. We can just pile on damage. Yes, exactly what I wanted. I wanted tailoring. Okay. I think this is the time I use scratch that. Oh, no, I don't. I don't need to. She didn't use the, the other big attack, so I can do it like that. Uh, red notes again. Free attack. And then soccer, I can discard. That's really annoying. Really wish that was not hitting there. I can't stop it. So, might lose uh, Yasad here. Well, if I'm going to lose Yasad, I may as well try to go for it. Okay, let's let this rock. Yep, there he goes. Alright, good damage. Good damage on the Sakura. Come on, 9, nine HP, 9 HP. There we go! That's what I'm talking about. First try. First try. Oof. All right, that was tough. Yeah, okay, so let's get this freaking music back in here, please. No, what? I don't even know what's going on. Why is this not good? I'm so confused. I thought the music wasn't on. Okay, well, in any case. Uh, maybe it's bugging out for me? I don't even know, because... That's super weird. Yep, don't get it. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was super weird. Whatever. I'll just take it. <laughs> Technical difficulties. You know. They happen, but hey, we got the music back. So. The fight. Yes. Um, here's what you want to do. You want, to t you want to make sure you match your resistances and your uh, strengths against what their resistances and strengths are. Make sure you're never getting one-sided attacks. Never, ever, ever. Always clash. Even if you're going to lose, clash anyway, because the plus eight or power or whatever the amount was, it's so crazy. You just don't want to deal with that. So don't do that. And then also, uh, when it comes down to Tamari, just kind of pile on damage the moment that uh, you know um, the townspeople are dead uh, make sure you take advantage of if she has any dice that are open that aren't being played as cards those are one-sided attacks just use them and yeah Oof. pretty legit <laughs> 뭐 무슨 일이든 일어날 수 있으니까 그게 위로가 좀된 거야? 전혀. 난 다를 거야. 난두번 다시 똑같은 일을 당하지 않을 거야. 난저 사람들과 달리 나를 지켜냈어. 난 시간에 잡아먹히지 않고 버텨냈어. 난 무너지지 않았어. 나는. 어. 잠시 진정하고 숨좀 돌리자. 힘든 시간이. 문득 마음속에서 터져 나오면 깊게 받아들여야 해. Alrighty. So, you may be wondering what kind of book does uh Tamari give you? And why can't I see it? What? Can we actually not burn the- oh, we can't burn the books yet. Interesting. Right, because I think you actually need to be up here. <laughs> you actually need to reach um, the next rank to be able to use the these books. But um, I can tell you the Book of Tamari it gives you some really great um, blunt, and blunt cards. Really strong. They take HP, but they roll higher. And then also there's one, um, the other one, where if you're below 25% HP, you know, you're dice roll higher, that sort of thing. Um, you know. It's pretty, they're really good cards. Really good. And I recommend using them. We'll get to see them soon enough, once I beat this tier. But, um, before that, <laughs> um, 
Well, you may have been wondering, like, hey, why are you skirting around the abnormality battle? Well, I'm not joking with you when I say that this is one of the hardest ones in the game. Uh, by far. This is the fight that people point to when they say that um, the... Uh, the, what do you call it? The the difficulty spike in Library of Runa is vertical. This is the fight they point to when they say that. But I'm going to show you an easy way to deal with this fight. What you're going to need is all three uh, people rocking Leeway's page. You're going to want the extra pierce damage. And you're just going to want to rock a lot of indiscriminate shots. As many as you can. And let's go ahead and give this one a go. I'm actually more scared of this than I was of the uh, Tamari fight. This one is scary as heck. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and... Um, hit him with uh, some of this. And hit him with some of this. Then hit him with some of this. That's fine, I'll let that hit. Okay, and then let's make sure that um, one of these clash with that front dice there. Nah, it's just gonna hit, never mind, it's fine. Uh, so that's gonna clash with this, that's fine. Then I want, actually, I want this to clash with this. Then I want this to hit after. All right, let's do it. Light her up. He's marked. Okay, here's how marked works. Uh, if you're the villain, she targets you, and um, while she's targeting you, if her stuff hits, um, basically raises her. If, if her stuff hits, it lowers her bar. If you hit her, it raises her bar. If her bar gets to 100%, you're going to have a really bad time. So um, don't let that happen. What you want to do is you want to just keep coming over and just keep nailing her in the flank spot as many times as you possibly can and hope you survive yep let her hit it's fine we can lose these and it'll be fine yep you're gonna die sorry friend uh, rest in peace Oh god. Oh, she blocked that. Okay. Not great. This is probably a loss. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Well. That's okay. I mean, it is what it is. Not gonna win them all. Oh my lord. This fight is so freaking dumb. Yeah. Yep, this fight's over. Oh, fun. Hey, guys. Here's a new kind of... Here's a new kind of attack called a mass attack. Mass attacks hit everyone. Isn't that fun? Goodbye. Well... Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna wait on that one for a sec. Where's my, um, there it is. You go back in here. Ay, yeah, yeah. that fight's so freaking dumb. I hate that fight. Alright. Let's do this one instead. I've been waiting on this one for quite some time. There's a reason why that is, and you're about to see why. <laughs> Oh, 
사무소가 통째로 전멸했는데 그럴만하지 그래도 마음 독하게 먹으라고 자기 잘못이라고 생각하고 있어? 네 제가 말렸더라면 제가 좀더 노련하고 강했더라면 제가 도망치지만 않았더라면 그러면 네 책임이야 예? 네가 어리숙하고 약해 빠져서 동료들이 다 죽은 거 맞다고 <웃음> 이제 마음이 좀 편해졌어? 네가 편한 대로 생각하면 돼 일이 벌어지면 결과에 생각하기 편한 이유를 갖다 붙이면 되잖아? 실제 원인이 무엇인지 보다 납득하고 싶은 대로만 생각하고 싶은 거잖아 어이 꼬맹이들 너무 괴롭히지 마난안 괴롭혔어 갈고 있던 건 파멜리 뿐이라고 그래 필리 이제 이야기할 정신이 들었나? 네 배려 감사드립니다 형제 사무소인데 돕고 살아야지 미안하게 됐네 우린 그때 마침 12구 골목에서 뒤틀림 사건을 처리하던 중이었어 8시에 서커스에 당한 놈들은 오직 광기와 쾌락만을 위한 쇼를 펼치더군 마치 지옥 속의 축제 같았지 어시간이 애를 먹었어 그래서 나몸한번 교체했잖아 이 몸은 정말 내 취향이 아닌데 의체인가요? 하지만 그 모습은 윤리 개정안에 걸리지 않나요? 의체가 아니라 내 몸의 복사본이야 내가 예전에 들어두는 생체 복구 보험이 있거든 파멜레의 몸뚱아리는 형체도 남지 않게 찢겨서 이 방법이 아니고서야 해결책이 없더라고 그나마 대가리라도 남은 게 다행이었지 해결사 보험은 돈만 빼먹는 무슨 도둑놈들인 줄 알았는데 드물게 덕을 본 거야 참, 너네 사무소는 해결사 보험 같은 거안 들어뒀어? 얼마 안된 신입이라 경황이 없어 그것까지는 잘 모르겠습니다 나중에라도 알아보는 게 좋을 거야 보험 형태와 조건도 다양하니까 몸을 복구한 건 다행인데 말이지 왜 하필 이런 몸일까? 뭐? 당장 급해서 기껏 복사 시술을 해줬는데 저 새끼 말하는 꼬라지 봐라 비싸면 뭐하냐고 거울 볼 때마다 삶의 의욕이 안 나는데 그몸 망가뜨리기만 해봐 아니다 그냥 이번에는 어떤 방법으로든 복구할 수 없게 죽어버리는 게 낫겠다 그러면 복사본 값은 안 줘도 돼 맞짱 뜨자는 거? 그래 이 새끼야 음, 살바도르 말대로 자네 쌍화차 타는 솜씨 하나는 일품이군 과찬이십니다 필립 자네 생각은 어떤가 도서관이 뒤틀림과 관련이 있어 보였나 모르겠습니다 뒤틀림을 직접 겪어본 적이 없어서요 하지만 그 어떤 것보다도 이질적으로 보였습니다 스승님과 선배는 그곳에서 책으로 바뀌었고 음, 도움이 안 되는군 이 문제에 대해서는 여러 협회가 꽤 예민해져 있다네 협회뿐만이 아니지 날개와 손가락들도 뒤틀림에 대해서는 어떻게 해야 할지 감을 못 잡고 있으니까 예 그런 건 아무 상관없다는 표정이구만 뒤틀림이고 뭐고 간에 자네는 지금 당장이라도 도서관으로 돌아가서 동료들의 책을 찾고 싶은 것이지 마음 같아서는 그러고 싶습니다 하지만 스승님께서 남겨주신 쪽지에는 섣불리 행동하지 말고 오스카님에게 의지하라고 적혀 있습니다 아, 그 친구도 참 곤란한 걸 떠넘겨줬군 이 일이 늘 그래왔지만 그 친구 아내와 자식들 상심이 크겠소 혹시 만나봤나? 아니요 아직 찾아뵙지 못했습니다 왜지? 면목이 없어서 말이죠 우리의 다음 목적지는 도서관이네 장비 챙겨두도록 감사합니다 착각하지는 말게 목적지가 같기 때문에 데려가주는 것 뿐이니까 그리고 친구에 대한 최소한의 책임을 치를 뿐이지 적어도 우리 사무소에서는 절대 자네 같은 해결사를 받지 않을 거야 물을 흐리거든 동료들을 위해서 받은 은혜에 보답하기 위해서 행동하는 것이 그렇게 한심한 일입니까? 
어딜 가도 정에 연연하지 말라느니 급에 맞지 않는다느니 어리숙하다느니 해결서라면 아니 도시에 살아가는 사람이라면 누군가를 위해서 행동하면 안 되는 것입니까? 짜증나서 못 들어주겠네 네가 잘못 생각하고 있다고 했어? 그런 생각을 하는 해결사는 우리 사무소에서 받지 않겠다는 것 뿐이잖아 궁상 좀 떨지 마 감정에 휘둘리는 놈만큼 등을 맡기기에 위험한 놈도 없으니까 너 하나 챙기자고 우리가 다 죽어도 된다는 거야 뭐야 자네는 자신이 누군가를 위해서 행동한다고 굳게 믿고 있겠지 상막하고 이기적인 도시의 사람들과 달리 자신은 이타적으로 행동하고 있다고 그 이상의 가치를 위해 싸우고자 한다고 하지만 그것은 철저히 이기적인 생각이야 이기적인 생각 중에서도 자신을 속이는 가장 위험한 부류지 이타적인 행동이라는 건 인간에게 있을 수 없어 누군가를 위해서 목숨을 바치겠다는 것도 자신을 위한 것이야 그것도 주위의 사람들을 존먹으며 파멸로 이끄는 아주 위험한 이기주의 전... 말은 그럴싸하겠지만 정말 네가 살바도르나 다른 동료들을 위해서 열을 내는가 싶기도 하군 먼저 준비하고 있도록 하겠습니다 필립이라는 녀석이 상처받았을지 어떨지 모르지만 나도 동의하는 바야 자신이 아닌 누군가를 위해서라는 껍질 뒤에 숨은 이기주의만큼 지독하고 위험한 게 없어 알것 같아 자신이 아닌 누군가를 위한 것이라 각오한 마음만큼 무섭고 추악한 게 없지 그것이 희생을 감수할 가치가 있는 정이라고 생각할수록 그 자부심에 취해 주의를 보지 않는 거야 어떻게 되든 상관없는 거지 오직 그 정의를 위해 다른 것들을 짓밟아가며 달려나가도 돼 당위성이 부여되니까 와하 이번엔 정말 마음이 통한 것 같아 나 감동했어 샴페인이라도? 야 표정 안 펴? 짜증나게 하네 진짜 극복해가는 중이잖아 배려 좀 해주자 이런 사소한 것도 미묘한 컨디션에 영향을 준다고 됐습니다 전 신경 쓰지 마세요 여러분 발목은 잡지 않겠습니다 자네가 발목을 잡을 것 같다고 판단한 순간 난 자네를 꿰뚫을 거야 환영합니다 손님 분위기가 영 좋지 않네요 기계인 줄 알았다만 인간이 섞여 있는 것인가 너무 그렇게 노려보지는 마 죽이려고 찌른 건 아니고 잠깐 확인해보고 싶었으니까 무례하네 예절이란 것을 배우지 못했나 봐 음, 도서관의 사서는 상냥하다고 들었는데 다짜고짜 뺨을 날리는 손님에게 더 이상 예의를 갖출 필요성을 못 느껴서 말이야 흠, 미안하네 우리 목숨이 어떻게 될지 모르는 상황에서 예의를 차릴 틈 같은 건 없어서 말이야 어린하시겠어? 자네들은 정보와는 인상이 다르네 나름의 고충이 있나 보지 Alrighty These guys are pretty tough, not gonna lie These guys are really, really tough Their thing is pierce damage And actually, I realized why my chi strat didn't work For, um Queen of Hatred just realized now we need this passive because you need someone who can uh take a bunch of hits and not die and you also need all this pierce damage too so check this out zero cost two to four evade and then two one to five piercing dice really strong uh three to s two three to seven page and draw a page really good and then Trans just five flat damage on top of a six to eighteen. You also get a de de defense dice after it. Like this is still used in the end game because it rolls a six to eighteen. Like look at it. And these ones are okay. Um, you know, four to seven, uh, two flat damage plus a three to five. I mean, it's pretty good, especially because you have the, the pierce dice plus one. That's whatever. Look at this dice. <laughs> Two, four to eight. Restore light if you win the clash. Like, good lord, what a high rolling gamble card that is just 
beautiful. I love this card. I still use it to end game because I like it. Just if you if you win, if you win both clashes, it costs one. Uh, and then uh, it's kind of a nice touch, but um, uh, Philip still has his uh, burn cards. He just has a lot more of a. Uh, like two costs, so he kind of just spams them out. So let's do it. I want to try and get our main man down quickly because he has that passive that triggers and um, will save his life. So the faster they can get that out of the way, the better. Uh, yeah, let's do it like this. Shame I can't do that. It's gonna just have to take a few hits early on. This should be fine. Uh, let's see if I can get a... Ooh, actually. Wow, you're really fast. Oof, that hurts. Okay, well. Maybe if I... Pull you away. Hit you with... That as well. Um, you... I probably should have fixed around your deck. It's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and pop a... Yeah. Pop you, and then let's pop a gamble. Hit Philip, and then let's let this rock. Yeah, he's gonna get hit, get hit pretty hefty, but it's just gonna have to sacrifice myself for now. Good hit. Okay, nice. Good evasion. Ow. They also hit really hard. Look at that. Ouch. Here we go. Okay. Yep. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Love that damage. Should be able to get him staggered here shortly, now that I have the extra dice. Um, I hate CQ, she should be able to handle this. Yeah, I mean, I could go for the... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's probably not going to stagger him. Let's hit, let's hit Philip with that. Let's do that. Um... Let's hit you with that. Let's also pop on the cords here. Perfect. Uh, gonna try and gamble here with the. Uh, try and gamble. Maybe I can hit it. Who knows? And then maybe I can do a Sakura. Yeah, let's do a Sakura. It should work. Yeah, it's not gonna hurt that badly. Oh, and I also have an extra weight up. Yep. Always check. Always make sure you got your zero cost cards being spent. Let's do it. Okay. Alright. Ow. Ow. Okay. Ouchie. There we go. Got lucky. Good brawl. Good brawl. Nice. Stagger on Phillips. Great. And then... Yep. There we go. Perfecto. Uh, I still want it on you. <laughs> oh, this is where the fun begins. Stagger her with that. This is going to hit really hard. Let's throw another... Throw that on Philip. Make sure he goes down. Oof, that's going to hurt. Nothing I can do about it, though. Let it rock. Nice stagger, though. Extra strength on the hit. Goodbye, Philip. He escaped again. Oh, nice evades. And yep, there's his passive triggering. So even though he's at, you know, 1 HP, uh, he's still kicking. So here's what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Go ahead and hit you with a hard rehearsal. Let's hit you with an unforgettable melody. Oh, someone's gonna have to tank that. That's gonna have to be her.
Uh, let's do this a little bit differently. There we go. Okay. It's gonna hurt really badly. However, this should just kill him outright, right? <laughs> so it's not gonna matter. <laughs> and let's pop you on there. All right, this should be fine. Yeah, let's do it. Pop. <laughs> Ow. That's just rude. There's the other stagger. And let's have you get the killing blow. Perfect. Okay. Nice. しろけ。今のなら。ぐっかちゃんけそうすいすることさんがけんだ。なんてちょんじかち。どこんかいちゅうすまさ。なんかくどが。ぐっかちゃんけそうだめん。もんかたらじょすか。だいけど。もんかい
here's what you want to know. Uh, this stage of the fight, he is in defensive mode. And um, pretty much uh, he's just going to keep inflicting burn. So what you got to do is we're just going to light him up with as much damage as possible and hopefully just you know just take him out uh okay damn it okay not gonna be able to get around this that's fine it's fine we'll take the hits we'll take the hits all right let's do it good hit nice nice that burn stacking up is not great. But look at the damage. Look at that damage, baby. You gotta use the first floor to build yourself up. And the second floor is where you just unload everything. Okay. Alrighty. Um... Let's keep stacks on stacks on stacks. All right, still in defensive mode, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just, uh, yeah. Hit him with this, hit him with this. And then these will go with a hard rehearsal. And then two of these red notes, more damage. Like as I'm saying, these cards that buff your damage are paramount to your success. You need to just be able to deal with Philip and his stuff. Okay. So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's pop you onto here. Okay. This should, this might stagger him. Let's see. It's close. Getting close. Come on, baby. There it is. There's the stagger. We have a lot of burn on us, but we should be able to beat him here. This should be it. Let's just make sure we do this right. Yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> This'll be it. GG. Didn't even need the rest. Oh. What? Where'd he go? Phil gets away again. Alrighty. I was actually really, uh, really unsure about that one when going into it, but hey. That's why you prep. Wow. 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 이건 오히려 이지오 에고인 것 같아. 이지오 에고? 자아를 말하는 거야? 시답지 않은 말장난이야. 본질은 같아. 자아의 껍데기. 마음을 실체화한 거야. 뭐 마음? 마음을 실체화한다고? 그런 두루뭉실한 현상이 실제로 가능한 거야? 엘사 특이점이었어. 좀 다르긴 했지만 엘사는 의도적으로 추출해냈다면. 필립이라는 사람은 백야 흑주의 영향이겠지. 그러네. 어느 정도 이해가 가. 뭐야, 혼자 납득하고. 그럼 저런 힘을 돈도 안 바르고 마음에서 마구 뽑아낼 수도 있는 거라고? 나도 직접 발현한 것을 본건 처음이니까 그렇게 닥달하지는 마. 정 궁금하면 그 녀석이 도망치게 두지 말았어야지. 아, 나도 모르겠다. 그 할배가 그런 장치를 달아뒀을 줄이야. 여전히 솔직하지 못하네 오스카는 나이 많은 친구들이 여럿 있나봐 그야 구를 대로 구른 늙은이들이니까 해결사 이라면서 얼굴 한두 번은 받지 않겠어 urban nightmare baby rank up 이로써 엘사 백야의 흑주 뒤틀림 그리고 도서관 이네 가지 요인들이 
하나로 묶였다. 설마 했어. 도서관이 백야 흑주의 열쇠 중 하나일 줄이야. 특정할 수 없던 도서관의 위치에 또 드디어 관측을 완료했지. 도서관의 위험성이 올라갈수록 그 실체를 드러내는 건가? 안개로 자욱한 일사 둥지 속 신기로 같이 일렁는 도서관. 모두가 다가가려 했지만 어느새 길을 잃었지. 우리도 곧 준비하는 게 좋을 거야. 그 환상은 안개가 거치며 점차 현실이 되어가고 있으니까. 그렇다면... 그래. 공문이 내려왔어. 오늘 보러 도서관은 하나협회 본부에서 도시 악몽으로 지정했으니. 가까워지고 있는 것 같아? 무엇에? 그야 네가 원하던 자유라는 것에 가까워지고 있냐는 뜻이지. 모르겠네. 그래도 단 하나의 책은 완성되어 가고 있어. 그 책만 있으면 네가 원하는 모든 일을 깔끔히 해결할 수 있는 거야? 도서관은 말 그대로 무한한 가능성을 지닌 공간이야. 존재 가능한 모든 철자를 책으로 새기지. 하지만 그저 가능성의 파편만 모아두면 쓰레기일 뿐. 무수한 가능성 속에서 나에게 필요한 단 하나의 책이 만들어지도록 엮어주는 게 초대장이야. 초대장이 이끄는 대로 책과 빛을 엮다 보면 단 하나의 책을 완성할 수 있을 거고 구하고자 하는 모든 답이 새겨진 책을 만들 수 있는 거지. 확실히 이론상으로 불가능한 건 아닌데... 이론적인 가능성에만 목을 메고 있는 건 아니야. 단 하나의 책을 만드는 과정에서 도시의 여러 면을 보고 배울 수 있었어. 이 또한 의미가 있지. 그리고 다시금 깨닫는 거야. 책이 없으면 이 도시에서 답을 구할 방법이 없다는 걸. 도시에서는 답을 구할 수 없다고? 도시의 사람들로부터 비롯한 여러 책을 보며 알아낸 것이 있어. 도시에서는 누구도 자유롭지 못해. 다들 어딘가에 묶여있지. 하고 싶어서 할수 있는 일은 존재하지 않는 것 같아. 해결사는 사무소의 명령을, 사무소는 협회의 명령을 받고 목숨을 던지지. 조직도 다를 것 없어 보이고, 다들 어디론가 향하고 있지만 정해진 목적지는 없어. 이는 자신이 결정할 수도 없지. 흘러가는 대로 떠밀려서 향하고 있을 뿐이야. 도시에서는 돈만 있으면 자유든 뭐든 원하는 것을 얻을 수 있을 텐데. 자유로워질 수는 있지만 실은 그렇지 않아. 오히려 자유를 원하지 않는 듯 보이지. 자신이 아닌 무언가로부터 종속하기를 원해. 때로는 소속으로, 때로는 타인에 의한 가치평가로 자신을 규정하지. 본질이 너무 연약해서 껍데기가 없으면 자신을 특정할 수 없기에 떠밀려가는 거야. 그래, 도시 사람들이 병에 걸려있다는 말은 이런 뜻이겠지. 결국 도시 사람들의 자유를 위해 난 지하에 처박혀서 이용당했던 거야. 내 자유를 대가로 누군가에게 자유를 주기 위해서 자신이 깨달은 것을 도시에 흩뿌리기 위해. 음, 예전 직장 이야기구만. 맞아. 오히려 이쯤 되니 다 때려 부수고 싶어져. 다 뭉개버리고 싶어. 내 자유는 나를 무책임하게 만들어 놓고 고통 속에 내던진 책임은 누가 치러주지? 어떨 때는 도서관이니 단 하나의 책임이 할것 없이 이 모든 것을 잊어버리고 싶어. 태어난 순간부터 철저히 거부당하는 느낌이 어떤지 알아? 난 처절하게 알아. 나를 만들어낸 사람이 그랬거든. 차라리 어떤 점이 부족한지 말해줬으면 좋았을걸. 내가 마주했던 건그 어떤 기대조차 담기지 않은 싸늘한 눈과 스쳐간 말 한마디였지. 보통 사람이라면 들리지도 않을 작은 입조림. 결국 기계일 뿐이야 라는 말. 지금도 나는 그 순간이 방금 일어난 일처럼 생생해서 저주스러워. 듣고 싶지 않은 말도 들리는 내 몸과 기억하고 싶지 않은 것을 잊을 수 없는 내 머리. 그 사람도 참 고약하네. 반복적인 일을 수행하는 게 필요했으면 왜 윤리 개정안까지 어겨가면서 인간 같은 감정을 지니도록 널 만들어낸 거야? 처음부터 감정을 느낄 수 있었던 건 아니야. 지루한 반복을 통해 내 안에서 점차 깨어났지. 아니, 오히려 언젠가 감정이 싹트도록 설계한 걸 수도 있겠네. 감정이 필요한 반복적인 일. 이었으니까. 수많은 시간을 견디며 반복해야 하는 무대 속 
조금씩 달라지는 상황에도 목표에 맞게 자기 판단을 할수 있는 무언가가 필요했던 거야. 대본을 벗어나지 않도록 통제할 수 있는. 그 자에게는 인간 같은 기계가 필요한 게 아니었어. 기계 같은 인간이 필요했던 거지. 굴레에서 내 나름대로 견뎌내기 위해 얼마나 많은 발악을 했는지 몰라. 발악이라면... 눈을 감고 있는 건 담고 싶지 않지만 담아야 하는 순간들의 연속에서 내가 할수 있는 건 그저 눈을 감는 거였어. 그게 내가 할수 있는 최소한의 그리고 최대한의 발부둥이었으니까. 지독하군. 그래도 너에게 부여한 무대라는 건 어떻게든 마무리했잖아. 이젠 다음 일을 생각할 여유가 있잖아. 과거를 잊고 다음으로 나아가라는 말 따위를 하는 거야? 주둥아리를 놀릴 때는 상황 봐가면서 짓거려. 난 절대 잊을 수 없어. 아무리 눈을 감아도 어떤 표정과 상황이 흘러갈지 모든 걸 머저리라도 기억할 정도로 오랜 시간을 반복했어. 심지어 그 모든 게 아주 느리고 천천히 기억에 스며들어. 한번 스며든 건 잊지도 못해. 아직도 생생히 기억나니까. 그렇기에 어떤 매듭조차 짓지 않고 떠나버린 그 사람을 용서할 수 없어. 멋대로 만들어낸 내 삶을 시간 속에 짓뭉개버린. 아... 내가 무슨 자격으로 너에게 과거를 털어버리라고 하겠어. 하지만 그 다음 정도는 생각해두는 게 좋을 거야. 자신을 위한 최소한의 울타리 정도는 되어주거든. 끝없는 복수에서 발을 디딜 밑바닥이 되어줄 테니. 그렇게나 날 위할 줄은 몰랐는데. 결과적으로는 날 위해서지. 그래도 점차 변해가는 내 몸을 보면 어디론가 향하고 있는 건 확실해. 기계 덩어리였던 내 몸에 살이 붓고 피가 흐르고 있어. 단 하나의 책에 도달하려면 아직 멀었지만. 혹시 사람이 되어가는 건가? 아직 완전하지는 않지만 그런 것 같아. 어쩌면 이 길의 끝에 나도 완전한 사람이 될수 있지 않을까. 사람이 된다면 많은 것을 쉽게 잊을 수 있겠지. 더는 이 기억의 홍수에 잠기지 않고 잊고 싶은 걸 흘려보낼 수 있다면 네가 말한 다음을 생각할 수 있겠지. 에이에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에에
But hey, outside of that, Urban Nightmare stuff. Big ups, big upgrades. It's going to be a great time. And I'm really happy with how this uh, extra special super extended episode's going. And how it's ending up. So, all of you, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.